All right. So I managed to make a little bigger. Oh, I'm filming in my bedroom. And this is that blanket that I made for my husband for our bed. He said he didn't care what color. So I just held two strands together of yarn from my yarn stash. And this is a washcloth. I made it. I just started going this way. And then I did a single crochet row around the outside. And I'm going to put this one on the back side. This is what the orange one looked like. It has uh, orangish brown in it in a, a, a like a olive green but this is all 100% cotton I thought I would put the two together sew them together so they make them so that they're a thicker one because I as you heard um, as I said I, I'm gonna have mom up here and I don't want her burning herself when she does things so I'm gonna make hot pads with it this is my crochet set of needles sorry about that i thought i had it open hooks i mean so this is what i use and these are what i carry with me i got one right here it's in a project i was doing for my mom i was making jada and stitches little arm a basket or a bag that she had made i'm turning it into a purse for my mom those are my needles. Oops. Oops. And with these two crochet threads held together, I'm in the middle of making this little beauty. It don't look like much now, but it's that Happy Berry, Jennifer from, ha not Happy Berry, Jennifer from, from Fiberflex. This is going to be her, this is her pattern for the uh, Happy Birthday Shawl. I had this crochet thread, which it says it's a fine or number seven. So when I worked it up, I used my crochet hook. Um, can't really tell that there. It's a 3.5 millimeter, two strands held together. When I run out of that, I guess it'll be as big as it's going to get. But that's what I started with that. Just because I needed something to do. And then I have a bunch of baby yarn. So <laughs> I'm not sure who made this one. But it's the one where you do a single crochet in between your cluster stitches of the granny square. This was, uh, I looked up modern granny and there were different things that they used for modern granny but rose kind of got me started on that when she showed off hers so i had a bunch of skeins of yarn that looked like this some didn't have the label some did so i just thought well <laughs> i do it i do two two rows or two rounds like i did here and then i messed up i took and forgot to add the second row of blue and went back to the so now I have to follow this pattern two row two rows of pink and two rows of yellow and one row of blue and then I start all over again and go out but life got in the way so I messed that up it should have been the other way around well but that's just kind of what I was trying to do to distract myself from life and crochet has always been that something that distracts you calms you teaches you things and watching your channels and your life update blogs and your vlogmases and your sweetest day friends uh swaps your yarn hauls i thoroughly enjoy them
and I'm going to miss you guys. But that is what I have been working on. I can even show you something else that I did with the Red Heart Ombre. I made another shawl. This is, it's still got quite a bit of it to go, but I think I goofed. I mean, I know Jennifer, she said that it would grow, but <laughs> it goes all the way over here and comes down and goes all the way over here. So, and I did that with my five millimeter hook. Like the yarn size, I normally go down a size or up a size. I knew she said it was going to be a big one, but wowza. And I still have almost a full skein yet. What do you think, guys? You think I should go all the way down? Oh, that's my dog, Dapple. Uh, I forgot to say, I was in my bedroom. I kind of wanted to do this with so I went up, wake up mom, because I normally do it in what was going to be my yarn room slash craft room. But that's mom's bedroom now. And if dad gets to come home, he'll come and stay with us. Oh, I'm out of time. Bye, guys. Thank you. I miss you, but I will be watching. I just won't be able to comment. I enjoy your guys' lives. Bye.